I see JC. Can you hear me? Hello. Night. Finally, you're back. <laughs> you hear me? You're finally back. Ah, yes. Yes. Yesterday, I, I, I working for the the with the problem the the coronavirus the new the new rules for for uh, in the the country um, and different kinds problem right and how how has that affected you uh for me Yes, at work. I mean, because you're saying uh, work with that. Uh, because I work on um, utility uh, for energy, uh -huh. and, uh, to change a state for a uh, prepare to emergency. Ah, uh, really? Uh huh. And then uh, to prepare uh, uh, plans, plans yes. for. Uh, maintenance for uh, maintenance for a uh, results emergence emergencies, uh, emergencies uh, um, uh, will to uh, tener todo disponible <laughs> to have everything ready and available yes to have so, Ready and um, um, available. Uh, ready and um, okay. Available. Hold on, let me write it for you, so you can see it. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Are you worried though? Are you, you worried about the virus? Uh, no. Not really. In general, not. <laughs> okay, no. like this. Available. Can you see it? Available. Yes. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. It's three syllables. Hold on. Let me make it big. Like this. Available. Available. Okay. Say it. Available. Available. Right. Available. Okay. Yes. And and that's it. Um, after the work, my uh, wife need a, a sell a supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> In the supermarket, it's full, full. All supermarkets are right. Yeah, they're yeah. crowded. Many people to to buy different kinds uh, products, uh, beans. Uh, oil, uh -huh. uh, papel higiénico, como se dice en inglés. Toilet paper. Well, to toilet paper. Toilet paper. Like toilet this. paper. Yes, uh, let me see if it's double L. Hold on, sorry. And it's double T. Like this. Toilet. Toilet paper. paper. Yes. And uh, juice, uh, many bread, many, many different products. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why people are panicking like that. Right, they're gonna yeah. cause all, all products and items to increase their products, I mean their price. Yeah, uh, for example, Today, uh, until the supermarket not uh, refund the new the new products. Oh, uh, no. the, the word for that is restock. Restock, restock. You, you say stock and restock, restock. it. Restock the 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 product as okay. until uh, afternoon. The, the supermarket will be uh, normally. 
Right, it will uh, go back to normal. Go back to world. To normal. Yes. Hi, Juan Carlos. How are you this evening? Good evening. Hi, good evening. Welcome. How are you? I am very good. Really good. <laughs> okay. I'm glad to hear that. All right. We're going to start a new section, okay, uh, to talk about uses of things. Oh, you know what, by the way, uh, there are some infected people here in Argentina, right? I was talking with JC, Juan Carlos. You, JC, are you Juan Carlos too? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's Josie and Juan, Car and the Juan, Juan Carlos. <laughs> Josely and Juan Carlos, both. Okay. <laughs> We're going to be a band. Okay, yeah, so I was talking to JC and yeah, about the virus, right? There are three, no, 12 infected people here, I think, near the city or more. Mm -hmm. But um, But we still have food. And the measure we're taking is that all classes we're going to be teaching online. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to stop teaching or working. I'm going to be home all day working from the computer. Ah, uh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because imagine if I, if I were unable to work, then how do you get money, right? It's very concerning. Okay. Uh, read the objective, please, JC. Because Juan Carlos, I don't know, he's frozen. Uh, lesson objective. Yes. In this class, you will practice using infinity and uh, gerums for use and purpose. Uh, infinities and gerums. Gerums. Yes. Oops. Okay. We're gonna watch the video. Pay attention, please. And I'm gonna share. Hold on. There it is. Ready. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. We're about to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails, nor I use my computer for send emails. Okay. Um, Infinitives. We're going to be using both, right? To and ing. It means the same exact thing. I want you to see this. Hi, Noe. Okay, so we're going to express purpose okay, by using to and I in and for. All right, we're going to start. Look at this, we're gonna explain the purpose, all right? For example, I am learning English. We're gonna do the same exact uh, sentence here using to and for. But when you use for, you have to use ing. It means exactly the same thing. Okay, welcome, Noe. How are you this evening? Hello, good evening. 
Hi, good evening. I was about to message you. Let's see what happened. <laughs> a lot of your classmates from last module couldn't register this module. That's why we don't have as many students. So I need you to be in class as much as you can, please, because otherwise we won't be able to like participate and practice, okay? So please, please, very important to be in class. I will appreciate it. Because a lot of, uh, for example, do you remember Roberto and who else? And Katia, I think she's gonna be back next week. So some of them had issues, right? Uh, Yesenia, Yolanda, do you remember the her? Right, she couldn't register, I think. Okay, anyway, uh, Noe, why are you learning English? Um, I think it's very um, a useful and a, some a careers and some jobs a, require a, a, a in, in, intermediate uh, level in English and for personal reasons. Uh -huh, very good. Although I kind of want you to use this for and to. So if you say I am learning English too, how can you complete the sentence? Um, I am learning English to get a better job. Get a better job. Okay, very good. And look at this. Juan Carlos, JC, Arno. Okay, look. I'm learning English for getting, getting. a better job. Yes, you can say that. It's all right. Is that clear? One more example and then we're going to practice. Okay. We're gonna say I use. We're gonna say I use my. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna use my laptop. I use my laptop for, or I use my laptop. Laptop two. Okay, complete the first sentence, JC. For. Watch a video on YouTube. Aha, uh -huh, okay. To watch video. Ah, excuse me, I am. And for? Watch video. For watching videos, exactly. Very good. It's the same. Learning English for? Yeah, hmm, okay. Computers, then we can also use the passive voice. Okay. Hi, Jesenia. We're going to say it in general form. Okay. Laptops are used for what, guys? For, for working in an office. Uh -huh. For working or laptops are used to, to work. work. Yes, very good. So, are you ready to practice? Remember to use ing after yeah. four. You ready? Yeah. Okay, look yeah. at these images. Hold on, here. I want you to make sentences using both two and four with uh, these verbs, uh, with these objects. Okay? So, for example, batteries, batteries are used for what? To watch. Autos are used for working. To, uh, mm -hmm. uh, batteries are used for keeping uh, objects alive, right? Or functioning, maybe. To remote control. Uh, to hold on, hold on. Okay, we're not enough, so we're gonna work together. Okay. Uh, number one, cell phones. JC, go ahead, make a make a sentence. You're muted. Uh, for 
or put a cell phone? What do you mean? A battery of or put my lamp. Okay, so we're gonna say I use my battery for or yeah, but my lamp is not a verb. We kind of need another verb. Yeah. For keeping my phone alive, we're gonna say, okay? Mm -hmm. That could work. All right, Noe, cell phone. I use my cell phone for uh, taking pictures. Ah, very good. Next one, calculator, Juan Carlos. I use my calculator for for making my my work. Calculators are used. We're gonna use the passive voice too. Are used for a uh, working. What oh, you said? I don't see what I'm typing. Hold on. Or working. We're good. Okay, next one. What is this? An agenda, a dictionary? Dictionary. 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 Or a Bible. Uh -huh. It also looks like a Bible, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, we're going to mm. say dictionary. Uh, JC. I use my dictionary for... Let's use the passive voice now. So dictionaries are used to... Used to find word word very good word. okay next one Juan Carlos mm -hmm. uh, pain used to are used to uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, grid right uh, great um Carve. Mm -hmm. To write. Write books. Right. Yeah, books. if you if you hand write it, then yeah, to write books. Very good. And uh, what about money, guys? Not the wallet, but money. 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 We're gonna write a lot of sentences. Okay, money is used. We're gonna say two and four, two and four. Okay, a lot of sentences using money. Go ahead, Noe. Everybody brainstorm, come on. Money uh, is used. Money is due to, to pay the bills. To pay your bills. Okay, uh, JC, money. For buying clothes. Buying, can you buy happiness with money? Hmm. What do you think? I think yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, what's yes. JC, what's something you can buy with money that makes you happy? Um food. <laughs> food. <laughs> what an honest dancer. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know what? Food is happiness. <laughs> yeah. The problem is, yeah, it, you can get very sick. From it, unfortunately. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, Noe, what's something you can buy with money that makes you happy? Um, a new car. <laughs> Traveling, right? You can pay for your trips with that. I, I, I think uh, having a BMW, I could be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I agree. There's no doubt. No doubt. No doubt, yes. No. All right. Next one, Juan Carlos Cervellón. Yesenia, can you hear us? Yesenia really tries. She has really bad internet and she still gets connected. That's awesome. Okay. Hey, Juan Carlos Cervellón. To. Uh -huh. uh, money used to buy, buy video games. <laughs> Does that make you happy? Yeah. Okay, awesome. 
for traveling, I would say. Okay, JC, two more. Uh, excuse me. You can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, to... Pay boy. To buy food, they say. Buy Delicious food. Delicious food. <laughs> mm -hmm. Delicious food. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, is the topic clear? Yes. yes. Show, show the other example, please. These examples? Yes, yeah, that. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. You want to take a screenshot and, and share it with the group? Yes, I, I, I want to take a, a screenshot. Sure. Yeah, take a screenshot, guys, and then you can... Okay, it's done. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, let's continue then. Um, here, read the objective, please. Oh, no, we're going to do the exercise. One by one, okay. Number one, Noe. Um, satellites are used. Um, um, to study the world's weather. Okay. Do you guys agree? Is that right? Yeah, that yes. is the world's weather. Okay. Let me see. Number two, uh, JC. Robots are sometimes used for perform dangerous tasks. To perform for number three, for performing dangerous tasks. For performing dangerous tasks. Very good. Okay, number three. Hi. Eh, no, no. Eh. Number three, you can use a cell phone eh, to send text messages. To send, yes, Juan Carlos. Uh, people use the internet. Uh, for making travel reservation. Awesome. Number five. DNA. Wait. Hold on. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. JC, go ahead. DAA fingerprinting is used to for Number one, to identify criminals. To identify? Identify criminals, yes. Say identify criminals. I identify, identify. Yes, remember the word ID, okay? So it's identify. ID, identify. Very good. Six, no eh, cd rom are used. Um, for story and encyclopedia. And okay, let's see. All right, Yay. great job! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Good, good, good. So I think Your that topic is clear. Sorry. Is clear. My face is clear. What were you saying, Noe? Uh, you can give us our uh, diploma. <laughs> Here's your <laughs> diploma. Take it. <laughs> you have passed. No, time yeah. flies, right? In three weeks, you're going to get your next diploma again. So, <laughs> yep. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Say, I hope so. I hope so. We're good. Okay. Uh, read the objective, please, from Carlos. Uh, lecture objective uh, participants 
notice and practice stretch in work with more than two syllables. 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 Right, with more than two syllables. Very good. Let's watch. Pronunciation. Syllable stress. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? Phone. Transmission. Okay, we're going to practice and intonation is pretty important as well. All right? Because otherwise it's very hard. Maybe you will get the message across, but it will be hard for the person listening to you, for the listener to understand what you're saying. So let's repeat, okay? And we're gonna say satellite. 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 Right, internet. Inner, internet. Uh -huh. Internet. Internet. Photograph. Photograph. Okay. Invention. Invention. Inventions. Right, ven, right? That's the one that is stressed. So you have invention. Invention. Very good. Assignment. Assign. Computer. 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 Right. And they these words have the stress on the last syllable, right? So CD ROM. CD ROM. CD ROM. Engineer. 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 Yes, entertain. 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 Yeah. Enter. yeah, you kind of don't say this T, you say enter, entertain. Entertain. Enter or entertain if you want to say it like that. Entertain. 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 Yes. So how do you think? Oh no, those are the answers. How do you think we pronounce this, Daisy? Languages. A, no, that would be languages. 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 Very good. Languages. Okay, next one, uh, Juan Carlos. Under some. No, the, the stress is not on the first syllable. It's not under some, no. It's understand. It's on the last one. Understand. understand. Yes. So that understand. stress is here. Okay, next one, Noe. Robotics. Me. Yes, robotics. Robotics. Yes, the stress is here. Say robotics. Robotics. Telephone. 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 Yes, where is the stress? First, second, or third syllable? Telephone. The where can you telephone. hear it? Telephone. The first, second, or the third last. syllable? Telephone. 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 The third syllable. Yes, that is right. Excellent. Telephone. First syllable. Yes. Okay, next one, JC. Transmission. Uh, transmission. The stress is here. Mission. Yeah, mission. This is Spanish right here. It's double S. Yes. <laughs> transmission. <laughs> it's <laughs> Spanish. Yeah, it should be double S. All right, and then you have ECR. BCR. Right, so the last one. So repeat after me and say languages. Languages. Understand. 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 Robotics. 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 Telephone. Telephone. Transmission. Transmission. VCR. VCR. A B C D E F G. VCR. Nothing to do. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. How far are you on the platform, guys? Are you working on it? 
Yes, I do. I'm doing. No, if I if I ask you know, are you working? You have to say I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. And how far are you? What section are you working on? I'm lesson two. Lesson two. Lesson two. Okay. Very good. Uh, read the objective, please, Juan Carlos Trevillon. You're muted. Lecture objective. In this exemption, you will practice a conversation about using cell phone, see in practice and infinitive for giving subscription in context. I have suggestions. Suggestions. Hold on, I will help you say that word, guys. It's so. Sub. Sub. Yes. 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 Chums. 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 Uh -huh. It's like questions, right? Questions. Suggestions. Yes. Suggestions. Say it. Say it, JC. Suggestions. Very good. No, eh? Suggestions. Uh huh. That sounds good. Okay. Let's watch the video. Hi again. Listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay. I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is George. You're I'm right. It's a recording. Sorry, take your call right Make now. sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Your phone to call my boss. We're gonna practice the, uh, the dialogue, all right? Okay, say it with me. Let's say, can I borrow your phone to, uh, can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Huh? I can't believe you still don't have a phone. I can't believe you don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? Uh, first of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. Turn off all. First of all, say guys, connect it. First of all. First of all. Yes. Uh -huh. First of all, be sure to turn it on. Be sure. And to don't turn forget it on. to dial the area code. The area code. Area code. Right. Uh huh. Okay. I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. I okay, can number, but I, I can can't see the number, anything. but I can hear anything. I can hear. I can hear anything. Anything. Hear. Yes. Anything. Uh -huh. anything. Uh -uh -uh. It, that's because you haven't pressed the call button. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Oh, good. Oh, good. It's, it's ringing. Ringing. Mm -hmm. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Try to Try not get too excited. You will probably excited. get his voicemail. You will probably get his voicemail. You're right. It's a recording. You're, You're right. right. It's, it's a recording. recording. It's a recording. Make sure you uh, hit the end button or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. 
make sure they hide the end or else bottom else you leave a conversation, you leave a conversation voicemail on, voice on, on his voicemail on his voicemail on his voicemail yes all right very good we're gonna practice uh do you have is there any new vocabulary guys what's the meaning of dial Mm, to when the phone is to <laughs> connect it to the right? other. <laughs> no, it's yes. when you're pressing the numbers. <laughs> ah, okay. Dial, dial. Yes. Okay. And what else? So I want you to tell me something. Where can you see the imperative form? Uh -huh, imperative. Mm. What's the imperative, guys? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> you don't know. All right, let no. me tell you what it is first, because that's what we're about to study. Jose Armando, hello. You hear us? Okay, the imperative. So, uh, this expression here said, first of all, first of all, dial the number, then press the la 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 bottom, all right, and then make sure, be sure, if, okay, now imagine we are doing something else. How do you, I'm, I'm gonna ask you guys, how do you make, how do you make pupusas? Give me the instructions. First, uh -huh. to prepare Ah, okay, but hold on, you need to use the imperative, meaning you uh, you have to use the verb. You don't conjugate it, you don't use to, you don't use anything. If I say, guys, stand up, raise your hand, okay, participate. That is the imperative, you don't need to conjugate anything. That's imperative, okay? When you mm -hmm. use the verb to give instructions or advice. <laughs> so, first, what? Put no Hold on. first get the dough right and put what beans and cheese. Oh, you don't make pupusas, guys. <laughs> 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 pupusas made by by guys by by men only. I'm gonna call them. <laughs> <laughs> get the dough and put beans and cheese. Then uh, fry the pupusa, right? Well, whatever. The thing is, you need to use the verb in it without any conjugation. Okay? So, here, in this dialogue, where can you identify it? Where is it? Uh-huh. Nothing? Put okay, I'll tell it on. No, because you don't use two. Okay, here it is. I'll tell you. Be sure. That's imperative. Sure. Okay. Don't forget. Imperative. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Try not to get. I'll write it for you. Try not to get too excited, okay? Don't forget and be sure to call. Press. I think. Oh. Press. I don't know what they were saying. So basically, it's the verb for a, the affirmative form or don't in the verb plus the verb or the negative form. Is that clear? Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay, in this case, try is the imperative. The fact that you have not to, that's another verb, that's another topic. Okay. Very good. So let's practice with that. Hold on. No, 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 no. I'm going to send you a different conversation, but hold on. Jose Armando, can you hear me? 
Hello. Because if he's here, then you can practice in pairs, but I'm not sure. Jose Armando. I'm going to message him. Okay, well, we're going to have to continue then. So, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. giving suggestions. <coughs> I think this is the one. It should be. Hello everyone, before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we'll use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is two plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember, try. Let's make examples using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Try to pronounce properly. Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate into your native language. Try to mispronounce the words. You will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an English student. Therefore, we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions. So the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive. Now it is your turn. Ready to give an English student. Okay, now we're going to practice giving suggestions using um, these verbs, okay? Or the following expressions. I'm going to write them here separately so you can see them. Hold on. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, what are the expressions? Help me. Tell me the expressions. Huh? You guys are muted. No way. Juan Carlos, everybody's muted. I'm going to unmute you. Okay. Okay, yeah. Hold on. All right, that's better. Uh, what are the expressions? Um. Be sure, that's uh -huh. one, okay. Help me, help me, dictate for me, please. Uh -huh. uh, be sure to uh, turn the light off. Before... We're gonna split it like this, hold on, hold on. We're gonna say be sure to, mm -hmm. if it's affirmative and if it's negative, we're gonna say not uh -huh. to, okay? To or not to, what's going on with this? Not to. All right, next, next one. Make sure to or not to, la la la, all right? Okay, then, uh, what else? JC, help me read, come on. The next one, don't forget to huh? or forget. not to. Awesome, no way. 
Uh, remember. Uh, remember uh, to or uh, not to. Awesome. And finally, they see. Uh, try to. Mm -hmm. uh, not to. Very good. Okay, by the way, guys, in this case, when you say try to, it means make the effort, okay? That's what it means, try to. All right, so I will give you a situation. Uh, the situation is a visitor, or it's a person, a tourist, okay, to be precise, a tourist visiting a San Salvador for the first time. Okay, using these expressions, what advice would you give that person? Mm -hmm. um, Be sure to visit it. Uh, to, no, to visit. Here, to you're going to use the, the verb with no conjugation, okay? So, the verb in the base form. form. Yeah, but, okay. but it's good, it's good. To okay. visit. Be sure. Uh -huh. To visit Salvador del Mundo. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> to visit, uh, da, 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 visit Salvador del Mundo. Okay, next one, Noe. Let's go in order. Um, Let's make a negative uh, one. A negative? Yes. Make sure not. I, nah, what did I do? Uh huh. Uh, make sure not to. Not to. Make sure not to go. Uh, not to go to a dangerous place. Not to go to a dangerous place. Okay. Sad but true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, JC, next one is yours. Make a negative one. Uh, don't forget, in this case, use to or not to. Not to, a negative one, just to practice. Not to. Mm -hmm. Don't forget not to. Uh, uh, you're right, you're right. <laughs> that uh -huh. doesn't make sense. Yeah, uh -huh, this is okay. the only possibility because this is negative. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't forget to. Don't forget to visit Los Planes de Renderos. <laughs> uh, you're just like guiding them. No, it's try to protect them and you're trying to just guide them, go wherever. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, no, protect them. Go ahead and remember. Um, um, Hold remember. on. Remember Juan Carlos Serrion. I see him a little bit active right now. Hold on. Juan Carlos? Uh, remember. Remember? Yes, 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 perfectly. Remember, Remember to... Remember to go to eat pupusas. Remember to eat pupusas. Eat pupusas. <laughs> yeah, very oh, important. What are you saying, JC? Remember to have a cash. <laughs> ah, okay. So hold on. Remember to have cash on you at all times. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Have cash on you at all times. Okay, awesome. Uh, and finally, try. Anybody? Come on, help me. Um, try not. Traveling in oh, no, 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 JC, focus. Remember, you need to follow the structure. That's the idea that you learn how to conjugate it. So try 
not to, not to, and the verb in the base form. We don't use ing. Okay. Again, so. Try not to. I forget the idea. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Try to not uh, no, no. take Try a bus to. in the Hold center on. city. <laughs> Try not to. Aha, uh -huh, take a bus. Okay. Try. This is what you said, Noy. Try to not. And JC said, try going. Okay. Uh, this is not okay right now because this means a different thing. All right. It's okay, but not really. Not right now. And this is incorrect, Noy, because you need to switch the order. So the correct one is, right, not to. Not to. Mm -hmm, yeah. We have to tattoo it, okay? Not to, not to, not to. <laughs> mm -hmm. We need a tattoo, all right. Try not to take bus in that comes the downtown. from Soyapango. Okay, try not to take the seven D route, for example. <laughs> it's a dangerous <True>. route, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, very good. You protect it too. Yes, try to protect them because I, I got robbed in, on this bus on the 7D and on the 7 route. We got robbed Seven twice. Road. Yeah, they're very dangerous. Because yeah. I, you know, I graduated from Don Bosco University, right? So I had to go to Sayapango every day. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's why. Okay, so I will see you next week, right? Do you have any questions about this? No. No, we don't be. All clear. Okay. Thank you. All clear. Thank you for being in class, and I hope to see you on Monday. Be safe, all right? Don't go to crowded okay. places. Avoid the virus, please. The spread of it. <laughs> Enjoy the weekend okay. anyway. Have fun. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Good night. Bye.